abundant, that is happiness. You want so many things, but what's behind those one things, those desires, is one thing. You think seriously about that. The best this, the best that, all confess to one thing. You want to be happy. And you think those things are going to provide you that happiness. So I came to the conclusion that actually my, my Porsche could provide me happiness, but it won't just end there. It will keep on going to different. After I get a Porsche, I mean, on a, a helicopter, if I want to. Do. And then my worries will keep on multiplying. So my understanding from that teacher was uh, I need to find that happiness no matter, no matter what, you know. And I get to the meditation, and uh, I was so interested that I, I decided to to expand it, to let other people know about it. Of course, the first thing when you see somebody, when you, that can help you, the point would be, how can I be smart in school? How can I have best grades and that, you know? And these are all our concerns. And through the the tranquility and the concentration of the process of meditation, the anxiety of scoring good graves, you go over that. And we mostly fail because of that thing, anxiety. That's who ensures of scoring that you fail it. But if this anxiety is somehow subside, you are yourself and the true knowledge that you have in your mind will express it itself very smoothly. It will, it will flow, you know. So that is one of the core uh, the driven force that from Africa I get devoted to help other people enjoy what is within them that they don't realize. And I I get to be confident of myself that uh, I have some treasure in me that I can have first discovered it myself and realize it and that's the primary work and when that is realized other people will, will, will feel it and that feeling is what really connect us to the world. You were telling about flat, flat earth when we saw, you know the, the earth was flat and the first poor guy who said the, world, the earth was wrong, you know, he was finished, okay? And today it's not a flat anymore. We are coming more and more together, you know? Now there's internet. So this world is coming together. You want it, and I want it, or you want it, you don't, it's, it's going to come together. There's no force that's going to stop that. And our need will be common. So what's happening today in the news? Something's happening there at the other end of the world, in the East, in China. We are protesting here strongly. And that's how we are going to care for each other, no matter where we are. And we are going to have a common goal. And our devotion for God is going to increase. And we are going to care for each other in, 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 the, in the sense that um, the meaning of being human will be expressed. You know? So I'm not going to get to emotional things here. <laughs> I will stop uh, at this stage, and uh, there's a very strong emotional, emotional thing that brought me here. When I speak of that, I can return my tears. It's, it's very emotional, yeah. and uh, I'm not ready to <laughs> to talk to that yet. And you're helping us see our our uh, religion, devotion, and the positive sides of prayer life. Christians, or meditation and yoga for Eastern religion, traditionally, of those who come west. Uh, the, the religion has a 
potent role in the world of uh, human unity. God actually expresses the vision of human unity. Sometimes we see religions dividing lines. Their particular group is for human unity. They represent a kind of modernized use of tradition into vision for a, a, a global economy that uh, is just and people centered. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, sometimes you just have, you know, the, the great message of India that has the, this message of human unity aspect. It's again, how about people that all share? Uh, just a few words about that. Again, again an approach to living. You don't have to be a monk to take this approach. Not have to be a but uh, folks can translate this into their, into their church, into their tradition, or you can you can translate it into uh, you know people who are into a healthy athleticism that, that keeps their vitality uh, strong, vibrant, uh, and open. So there's a there's some physiology and science and, and uh, mental health tied up into what we're talking about, as well as a high spirituality. But maybe just if you could say something about the fact that we can be happy with a simpler lifestyle in some ways we can slow down. We don't have to exhaust ourselves accumulating more than we really need. But we don't know any better than to buy into a life of accumulation. How can we slow down a little bit? We don't all have to be monks, but we can slow down a little bit and we say, smell the roses or appreciate the spring is coming, appreciate what we do have. A simple living and how that helps intelligently slow down things that we do have a bit of control over and could slow down a little bit. Well, so Then meditation gave me happiness, that unlimited happiness and peace of mind. What we want, we all want unlimited happiness. And unlimited happiness we can get from unlimited object. What is unlimited? There is a, there is a, you know, everything is limited in this world. Our desire is, uh, you know, we have, um, you know, desires, and uh, we cannot fulfill our desires from limited objects. So we need something unlimited. So through meditation, I, I got that unlimited happiness that is from supreme consciousness. So what is the you know yoga means to unite unit consciousness with supreme consciousness is called yoga. So yoga has two parts. One is called asanas. You know asanas, yoga asanas gives physical comfort and mental composure. And meditation because meditation is scientific. Pineal gland secretes melatonin which gives peace of mind, happiness of mind. So you feel relaxed. And also, the meditation, what we do in yoga, we take deep breath in and breath out, inhale, breath. So you are taking oxygen in. When you are taking oxygen, oxygen purely purify your blood. You are getting vital energy uh, from you know, air. So that is the meditation. And meditation gives uh, concentration. Also. I was not doing well in you know my class and all this, and um, after practicing meditation, you know I, I was getting good grades. So that I got benefit because physically I was, you know, my body was, you know, relaxed, mind was happy, and then I was feeling oh I am getting something out of it. So what I want to do, you know, to tell that progress, you know, there is a one philosophy given by Sri Prabhatranyan Sarkar and pro, 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 Progressive Utilization Theory. I read his, some of the books and then I found what is the meaning of progress. Progress means not like you know, we 